We're at Seminole Power Sports North today. We're going to ride the new Can-Am Riker, our YKER. Seminole Motorsports North is here in Eustis, Florida. They do Honda, Suzuki, Yamaha, Sea-Doo, Can-Am, Kawasaki. And we're going to do a Can-Am Riker. Should be fun. Let's take a look at the Riker Can-Am website and you'll notice the opening price on a Riker is $84.99, not bad. And uh, here are some action shots from the Riker done by Can-Am, it's pretty interesting. And as I scroll down here, we'll talk a little bit about fit for you, made for yours, sense of power, designed for fun. There's all kinds of interesting things to tell you about this bike on their website and a uh, new way to ride and a license to thrill. Here are the specs on the bike and some color options down there on the left is the different specifications. Two engines, a Rotex 600 and a Rotex 900 and it's an automatic transmission, a shaft drive by the way, not belt drive, shaft drive. I really like that feature on this bike. That's, that's, that impressed me as much as not just about anything else. Um, power is 50 horsepower on the 600 and 82 horsepower on the 900. Torque is 36.7 and 58.3 respectively on the 600 and the 900. Transmission is an automatic transmission. Reverse is available and it's an automatic transmission in single gear. Works pretty good. So, in looking at this website, we'll get down a little further and they're going to talk a little bit about the chassis and the double wishbone and the shocks, electronic brake distribution system, tires. It also has a packing brake, uh, front tires, rear tires, aluminum rims. The rider capacity is one, obviously. Storage capacity is small. Fuel capacity 5.28 liters, not bad. Fuel type is premium unleaded. And the dimensions, they give you all the dimensions here, and um, they talk about the wheelbase and the seat height and the ground clearance. And dry weight is interesting. 594 and 616, respectively, 600 and 900. Instrumentation is interesting. Um, safety and security, the big three here, stability control, traction control, and anti-lock braking system is huge. Also have a good security system and a hill hold control where if you're on a hill and you're trying to take off and you're not going to roll backwards first. Warranty one year from the factory, you can extend it up to three years. So that's pretty nice. And they talk about, in the website, they talk about features and this, uh, ex excuse me, accessories and there's all kinds of accessories, tons of them. So there's lots of stuff to look at there. Also, big thing, rider education. There are some rider education courses that I have heard of here in the area if you want to learn how to ride a trike. Uh, so that's pretty important. And you can check with your dealer for that. Also, build your own, request a quote, and find a dealer. That's all there, but the next thing we're going to do, and you can subscribe, by the way, if you want to get more information. But the next thing we're going to do is get together with Jace and talk about the bike. Okay, we're here with my man Jace, and he's going to tell us all about this Riker, our Y-K-E-R. A Riker, and it's a Riker 900, 900 which yep. means it has a little more horsepower than the 600. Yeah, so there's a, a 16 900. Um, this one, they, they all have the same features, it's just a different motor. Um, so you have a fully adjustable handlebars, that's one of the biggest features. Oh wow. Uh, your handlebars can slide forward and backward, and then they just lock in in, in whichever position you want oh, that's them in. terrific. Um, your foot pegs can also be moved, so you pop it up with your foot, so you, so you don't pinch a finger. And yeah. then you can slide it back. So if you've got oh you know, shorter legs, I mean, that's really, really close to your seat. Perfect, uh, perfect. Wow. Your forward and reverse is controlled with your foot right here. Yep. So from a seated position to go into reverse, you would pull it back. The only downside to the Rikers is they don't have a, a true neutral. So it's forward in park or reverse in park, but there's no actual neutral. So oh, okay. your, your park brake is going to be right here. So you can see if I flip this over, it's going to start to roll a little bit. All right. Um, and so once you get to a stop, that's how you actually lock it in here. Okay. Um, the only storage that you have from the factory is up front right here. 
Um, so it's enough to put a wallet, you know, a bottle of water yeah, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Nothing crazy. You can right. purchase a saddlebag for the back. Oddly enough, you only get one. Um, so you get one saddlebag and a top case, uh, but there's nothing to go on this side of the swing arm. So because it is a single side swing arm, you can't put one on both sides. Now that's shaft drive or belt drive? That is shaft driven. Shaft yep. driven. Oh, interesting. Shaft driven. And the cool thing is it's disc brakes all the way around. Um, so you don't, you know, a lot of Can-Am stuff is a drum or a single disc. It's, it's got all three, all three wheels can stop independently. Okay. Um, around to the front, so all this up here, these two yellow pieces are interchangeable. Um, so we've got a, a pretty large array of different colors that you can pop those off and put new ones on. There's also a color match piece that goes here. Um, and then you do get a little sport windshield also. So you can kind of mix and match whatever you want to do with the front. Um, when it comes to colors. So really able to accessorize the bike Absolutely. You can to your flavor. You you know? Absolutely. Perfect. Oh, that's great. Absolutely. So yeah, it's not, they don't, they're not all going to look the same. No, no. It's going to be a lot cool. of variety. No, I like that. There's no real set color. There's yeah. no set combination as to what you can or can't do to the bike. It's, uh, it's The brake over here, that's adjustable too? Yeah, so this one you can also lift up the same manner, slide it all the way back okay. to here. Um, yep. It doesn't, it, the, the brake pedal itself is actually connected directly to the foot peg um, and it's electronic so there's no uh, like on the on the spiders there's actually a bar um, that you would have to get a shorter linkage you don't have that on here because it's all electronic awesome all right all right gonna take it for a ride and yes sir see how we like it should be very interesting thank you well here we are staying outside a beautiful Riker we just had a nice description and uh, now we're going to take a ride, see what it's like. I didn't know this was shaft drive. I thought it was belt drive. Shaft drive, pretty impressive. It's a key on it. It's really funny. The key looks like you're on one of those uh, motor sport, water sport devices. This little key is right there. It pulls right out. It's kind of cute. All right. Oh, gosh. Easy to get on. Let's see how the, how the pegs feel. Those feel good. There we go. No shifting, just breaking gas and uh, steer the little bugger. It feels uh, kind of interesting trying to get the feeling. I'm going to take pretty much the same route we did when we rode the Can Am Spider. Holy crap, this is fast. <laughs> this is fast. I'm surprised. I thought it was going to be, you know, quick. But, um, wow. So with this, driving this one today versus the Can-Am Spider. On the Can-Am Spider, I had a nice windshield up front here and I, it protected the wind, took a lot of the wind away. So I don't know if I'm going to have a really noisy uh, video today with a lot of wind noise or not. But I could put my face shield down and see if that helps things out a little bit. So I got the face shield down now and we'll see if that helps with the noise. Same kind of deal with this as the Can-Am Spider. And that is don't push, be leaning for pushing forward, you know, with weight forward on the bars pull back a little bit and just right hand turn pull your right hand towards you a little bit left hand turn pull your left hand towards you a little bit and that that makes just a nice smooth ride here it goes straight and true how do you do not bad pretty impressive it's kind of weird I'm not shifting at all <laughs> I'm expecting a shift and of course, Goofy here, I'll, uh, I'll try to, I will try to, uh, put my foot down, thinking I'm coming to it, because, you know, when, the, when I'm in my two-wheeler, I have to put my foot down, I'll fall over, the bike will fall over. Nice and smooth, I like the throttle feel. A lot of the 
bikes I've ridden, uh, especially the one I own personally, uh, the throttle is quite, can be quite snatchy, and uh, you know, you just touch it and it wants to jerk forward. This, this is nice and smooth, and I find myself pushing when I want to go right, I'm pushing the bar forward, the left bar forward to go right, and I'm pushing the right bar forward to go left. So, um, if you can see, I'm pushing, this is where I'm making this turn with this pushing forward. So that seems to work kind of nice. I like that. It's another way you can ride this thing. I mean, it's just weight forward. I think weight forward on the bars is a big deal. For me, it is anyway. It seems to, seems to really run a lot better. Oh, gee, we had a pretty good bump there and sucked it up like there was nothing to it. Suspension on this is very good. Very comfortable. This does have a little engine braking to it, which means I don't have to be on the brakes. It doesn't, you know, it's not free rolling like crazy. It actually does slow down. I haven't touched the brakes yet. I'll find the brake right about here, and that's just fine. Push with the right hand? Let's see. I kind of like that better than pulling with the left hand. I can push with the right hand to go left. That's kind of nice. I, I, I'm feeling this bike out. I've never driven one of these before in my life, so this is all brand new. For me, anyway. Maybe some of you own one. I don't know, but this is all brand new for me, so I'm trying to get the hang of it. So, that's basically what I'm doing here. Trying to figure her out, see where we're going here. We'll go down this way today. Well, what are my impressions of this Riker? Let me put my shield up here. My impressions of the Riker are this. It's fun. It's easy to ride. It has gobs of power. I was really surprised. This is the top of the line of the two Rikers. Uh, there's a 600 and 900. This is the 900. And this wants to get up and go. I want to tell you, it has some, uh, it has some speed to it. This bike has a lot of uh, spirit, and I re really like that. There's no, uh, there's nothing wrong with this bike at all that I can find. I'm trying to find the only thing I might find if I were to give it one little ding. I, I'd like the position of the brake pedal to be um, a little more. I, I have to press down a little bit. I'd like to have it moved I probably should move it myself I mean it is adjustable I would uh, the first thing I would do I haven't done any any adjustments at all to the bike but I would I would uh, change the adjustment on the uh, brake pedal it's it's I'd rather have it back a little ways where I can push down on it a little easier so uh, a little rubber there you hear that little <laughs> this this Riker wants you to ride it, and uh, ride it with some spirit, and uh, have some fun with it. And so, you know, you just, uh, you want to you wanna, uh, have people um, enjoy it, and have fun with it, and uh, not be a dingleberry with it. So, that's the way to do it. So, saw that cop car there, you know, oh my goodness, I don't need that. <laughs> so very nice it rides good it's got a nice soft ride to it it's not um race car like ride where you know it just beats the crap out of you this has a very nice comfortable ride i the seats are very comfortable too i don't know what it is about these can -Ams. they always get the seat right and the seat is right in this uh can -Am. And all the other, the, any other cam, at, well, the, the last one that I rode was really nice, and this is very nice, too. So, I like the idea, you don't have to think about shifting, just think about having fun. I mean, you got a, a gas pedal, or a, should I say a throttle, that you can twist, and it'll go pretty damn fast. And the brakes are good, by the way. The Brembo brakes, I believe. There are Brembo's on here, and they, uh, they stop you really well. 
So it it has a it's really difficult to find anything that you could really find wrong with the bike because everything uh, they've done their homework and uh, they've made a lot of can ams so when they met to when they decided to make this trike uh, they had enough knowledge and experience to make a nice one and I I think I think around the starting price on one of these like about eighty five hundred dollars I mean what the heck eighty five hundred bucks for all this fun I mean you pay a little more for the nine hundred but still you probably nine thousand I don't know ten maybe tops and uh, plus you have all the accessories that you can accessorize the hell out of this thing if you want to I mean you can make it so they make it so it's your bike in other words doesn't look like all the other Rikers or can -Ams, but it, it, it's going to look like the way you want it to look and this it leaves the door open for a lot of other stuff to do too so it's pretty cool well they got a winnie here no question about it this they've done the homework and uh, they've thought about this long and hard and the result is a nice fun bike and this will do burnouts and donuts and all kinds of stuff can -Am Riker all is right with a Riker <laughs> We're going to take the little ramp we took with the Can-Am Spider and we're going to go this way. Boy, this thing pulls. Holy crap. You can really pull it out of a corner very fast. It just has so much sack. Very, very nice. Three letter word for this bike, fun, fun, fun. <laughs> so definitely uh, a lot of fun. And I'm gonna come down here, I, I'm letting the engine brake work. And I haven't touched the brakes. I can go right in here. And go right in here. And go in right in here. Go right in here. I just want to go over here, show you, show you something. Uh, I'm just curious about the turning radius of this bike. So if I'm if I'm going like here, and I want to make a quick turn, boy, it really turns. I want to turn around here. It really turns. Nice, and you can feel it. <laughs> yeah, she runs nice. She runs good, the man says. She runs good. Put it in park and then shut it off. There you go. Can Am Riker, Seminole Power Sports North. <laughs>